Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Sunday, July the 2nd. It's the fourth Sunday after Pentecost and week seven in our psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 118, 1 Samuel chapter 10, verse 1 to 18, and a canticle from Revelation chapter 15, verses 3 and 4. And now, please join me in singing the first verse of Come Thou Font of Every Blessing. Come Thou Font of Every Blessing, tune my heart to sing Thy grace. Streams of mercy never ceasing, call for songs of loudest praise. Teach me some melodious sonnet, Sung by flaming tongues above, praise the mount, O oh, fix me on it, mount of God's unchanging love. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Hallelujah, give thanks to God most high, for God is good and God's mercy endures forever. Hallelujah. Psalm 118, and please recite it with me. Hallelujah, give thanks to God most high, for God is good, and God's mercy endures forever. Let Israel say, God's mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron and Elizabeth say, God's mercy endures forever. Let them that fear God the most high say, God's mercy endures forever. I called upon you in my distress, then you answered me and set me free. You are on my side, I will not fear. What can mere mortals do to me? You are at my side to help me, and therefore I shall see my desire upon them that hate me. It is better to trust in you than to put confidence in mortals. It is better to trust in you than to put confidence in rulers. The nations plotted against me but in your name I will destroy them. They buzzed about me like bees. They blazed like a fire of thorns, for in your name I will destroy them. They have thrust sore at me that I might fall, but you, my God, have helped me. You are my strength and my song, and you have become my salvation. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is heard in the tents of the righteous. Your hand triumphs. Your right hand is exalted. Your right hand triumphs. I shall not die but live and declare your works, my God. You have chastened me, but you have not given me over to death. Open to me the gates of righteousness. I will enter and sing your praise. This gate of yours is where the righteous shall enter. I praise you, for you have heard me, and you have become my salvation. And the stone which the builders refused has become the headstone of the corner. And all this is your doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day which you have made. We rejoice and are glad in it. Hosanna, God most high, Hosanna. Send us your prosperity. Blessed are they that come in your name. We have blessed them from your house. You are God who has shown us light. Bind the sacrifice with cords, even unto the horns of the altar. You are my God, I praise you. You are my God, I give you thanks. Oh, give thanks to God most high, for God is good, and God's mercy endures forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, give thanks to God most high, for God is good, and God's mercy endures forever. Hallelujah. A reading from the first book of Samuel, chapter 10, beginning at verse 1. Samuel took a flask of oil, and he poured some on Saul's head and kissed him, and said, Yahweh herewith anoint you ruler over his own people. When you leave me today, you will meet two men near the tomb of Rachel in the territory of Benjamin. 
at Zelza, and they will tell you what the ashes, what the asses you set out to look for, have been found, and that your father has stopped being concerned about the asses, and is worrying about you, saying, "What shall I do about my son?" And you shall pass on from there until you come to the terebinth of Tabor. And there you will be met by three men making a pilgrimage to God at Bethel. One will be carrying three kids, and another will be carrying three loaves of bread, and the third will be carrying a jar of wine. They will greet you and offer you two loaves of bread, which you shall accept. And after that, you are to go on to the hill of God, where the Philistines, the Philistine prefects reside. And there, as you enter the town, you will encounter a hand of prophets, a band of prophets, coming down from the shrine, preceded by lyres, timbrels, flutes, and harps. And they will be speaking in ecstasy, and the spirit of Yahweh will grip you and you will speak in ecstasy along with them. You will become another man, and once these signs have happened to you, act when the occasion arises, for God is with you. After that, you are to go down to Gilgal ahead of me, and I will come down to you to present burnt offerings and to offer sacrifices of well-being. Wait seven days until I come to you and instruct you what you are to do next. And as Saul turned around to leave Samuel, God gave him another heart, and all those signs were fulfilled that same day. And when they came there to the hill, he saw a band of prophets coming toward him. And thereupon the Spirit of God gripped him, and he spoke in ecstasy among them. And when all who knew him previously saw him speaking in ecstasy together with the prophets, the people said to one another, What is happening to the son of Kish? Is Saul too among the prophets? But another person there spoke up and said, And who are their fathers? And thus the pro proverb arose, Is Saul too among the prophets? And when he stopped speaking in ecstasy, he entered the shrine. Saul's uncle made Saul's uncle asked him and his servant, Where did you go? To look for the asses. And he replied, And when we saw that they were not to be found, we went to Samuel. Tell me, said Saul's uncle, what did Samuel say to you? And Saul answered his uncle. He just told us that the asses had been found, but he did not tell him anything of what Samuel had said about the kingship. Samuel summoned the people to Yahweh at Mizpah, and he said to them, Thus said Yahweh, the God of Israel, I brought Israel out of Egypt, and I delivered you from the hands of the Egyptians and of all the kingdoms that oppressed you. Here ends the lesson. Defend us, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today, and for all of your intentions. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And now let's recite the canticle together. Hallelujah, great and marvelous are your works, sovereign God Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O ruler of the saints. 
who shall not fear and glorify your name? For you alone are holy. All nations shall come and worship before you, for your judgments are revealed. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.